Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am Jules Juliet. OMG, that looks really scary. Much more better. I'm going to be more on this side because on today's video, we're going to go ahead and just kind of debunk a lot of TikTok videos regarding upon skincare. Now, just a little thing to let you guys know, I am going to go ahead and start prepping my skin as I go through these stuff. One thing is for sure that the reason why I did the oil cleanse was because of TikTok. And I saw this girl that started talking about her skin and how she, like the pores were coming off. And I was like, what? And then that's when I went to watch the other beauty guru, um, skincare esthetician. And she explained more about the oil cleansing and then I followed up. And um, it was a huge no-no. It was probably just not for my skin. A lot of people say that it was me, but it straight up was not me. And a lot of people are now calling it purging. At the end of the day, your skin is still breaking out. Your skin still has tiny little bumps. It is, it's just a different terminology of just saying that you currently have some sort of type of acne. But moving on, and right now I just ended up going ahead and putting the Hyler, 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 Hyaluronic Acid. It's just basically a serum that kind of just keeps your skin having a good moisture into it because that's something that your skin really does need, especially to eliminate kind of like fine lines around here. That's something I did notice that my smile line has definitely decreased. I mean, I have really deep smile lines at the end of the day, but I mean, I feel like it's just kind of more genetic than anything else, which I have been okay with so far. We're going to go ahead and with just skincare tips and let's see what pops up. Now, this guy, I've seen him actually well, around you definitely a lot, and um, he is kind of like, I don't know, a lot of things that he has posted kind of like just doesn't make sense to a certain extent. Let's go ahead and watch this one. This one basically says four popular skin products that you don't need. Number one, facial sprays. These are great to use because they're fun and they're fresh and they feel good, but they literally do nothing for your skin other than like make you feel good. And a lot of them also have nasty ass ingredients in them. <laughs> Mario Badescu. So yeah, do lip mask. Okay, so when it comes to facial spray, I do agree that they may not be like a higher need of a use, but they actually are a need at the same time. Because when you go ahead and apply your powder, your powder kind of gives you like a matte look. And some of us are going with that glowy look, but yet have really oily skin here. And we go ahead and use some setting spray just to kind of melt the powder in and give us that nice glow. You could also just have a wet beauty sponge and kind of like pat it but then that depending on what foundation you're using it might pick up the makeup and just kind of leave you like with the patch so honestly yes you need setting spray i mean there's other different styles of setting spray that give you that automatically glow but honestly i feel like setting sprays they're, they're not really there to set your face but they're there to kind of just give that glow that hydrating you know that just, if you want glowy skin, it just spray it on and gets you that glowy skin. Because there's, again, I use powder and most of the majority of my powder makes my face matte. And I don't like having a matte face anymore. Feel great if you put them in the fridge and rub them all over your burnt face. But otherwise, they do nothing. There's no science behind them. Doesn't matter which crystal you use. It's not going to de-age you or eliminate dark circles. It's just another gimmick. Number four, SPF. Okay, so definitely when it comes with the face rollers, I don't see the purpose of them at all because you could just use it with your hands. But then again, if you don't want to use your hands, and I guess you could go ahead and massage the things with the roller, but you have to make sure you do sanitize the roller because, yes, you put it in the freezer, but then, you know, if you didn't wash it properly, then doesn't that mean that you are kind of just putting bacteria into your skin but then as well it's like if you are not using a specific freezer for your skin and using your regular freezer your regular freezer contains other things such as like meat products fish products i don't know what else you have in there frozen fruits frozen vegetables uh it varies upon it and you don't really clean it on upon a daily you know it just just that might be the best place to put a roller in general 100 or anything crazy 
Do you like that sunscreen? I love sunscreen. Apply it every two hours, but SPF 100 is not real. It's like literally just another marketing ploy. Same with like SPF 70. Just get a 30 SPF mineral blocking sunscreen. You're good. For Papa's. So definitely, yeah, I would agree with the sunscreen. Now, I recently started using more sunscreen and kind of learning about it. I don't really use sunscreen as much, but actually, no, that's a lie. I use it every day, but I do not apply it every two hours because I'm at work and honestly, I don't have that time to go ahead and apply it every two hours. So I do expect that my sunscreen works for me the entire day. So I don't believe on the SPS of SPF 100. And definitely I do go ahead and get a 40 to 30. I do believe that that's like the best recommended because at the end of the day, it's like, are you really applying it every two hours? Like, I don't believe you, but I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways. Four popular skincare products that are absolutely- He pops up so freaking much in a lot of the freaking things, which is like crazy because at the end of the day, I just feel like, I don't know. He kind of like BS a few things. Skin cream. I don't really like fragrance in my moisturizers, and if there is fragrance in my moisturizers, they better have enough good ingredients to justify it, and this just doesn't. There are plenty of other things you could find with or without fragrance that are much better. Number four, this sh So the Pons is actually one of the OGs, if you guys know. It's actually one of the OG's ways of cleaning out your face without being stripped out. Gisito Eye Cream, I don't even know how to pronounce that stupid name, but let me just say this. The skin around your eyes is the most sensitive area, so fragrance in an eye cream is the biggest no-no, and this has- I agree upon that. Fragrance around the eye, actually, I've tried a few products that go under my eye, and honestly, it just burns. Like, as soon as I step out into the sun, my eyes start getting irritated. They start crying. So definitely fragrance around your eyes is something that you don't want to use at all. So for Shiseido to actually have a $70 cream and having fragrance is just like, why? Like, he pops out in like all of the skincare. Okay, let's see. Four worst brands. Number one, we should all say no to yes to for whatever weird fruit, vegetable they're trying to market to you. It's not good for your skin because most of it is riding off this idea of charcoal, which has no science to back it up. Also, they've literally melted people's flesh and had to recall product. Number two, say no. Okay, so when it comes with obviously say yes, I've actually done a lot of their products reviews. Some of them have been hit, some of them have been missed. They've actually contacted me before to work with them and then they took it back because I did a miss onto it, which is fine. It's just the way that the company runs. St. IVs. Now, with that one, I've heard a lot of things that it's been bad because of the whole apricot in the skin. Honestly, I've always broken out with them, so I just kind of skip them and I just don't use them at all. First of all, I would like to just say screw you for making everyone insecure about those little, like, nose filaments you have. Everybody has those. They never go away. They're called sebaceous filaments. They just profit off of making us all feel like we're ugly, and also their products are garbage. Top four words. Well, now that's actually some educational information right there when he says that they're sebational pores. Now, honestly, I do love the pores. I love the feeling of when they pull out and you can see all the little gunks because it makes it easier instead of you squishing them out or doing the freaking oil cleanse that did not freaking work. Like, yes, they are sebational bumps, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, majority of us have it, but the majority of us have figured out how to keep it clean and they don't want to tell you their secret or how to just have them closed and they don't want to tell you their secret. So now we have to over here figure out something else. Now, is it for them to just kind of make us feel bad about it? I don't feel like it makes me feel bad about it. I just feel like I need to figure out another way how to clean my skin and I use the pore strips to remove my pores and then I go ahead and just clean them out with this baby right over here or I use a toner to go ahead and clean them up and hopefully just shrink them for the best so they could stop going so much and at the end of the day the sebaceous bun ends up being dark because of the whole oxygen I don't know there's a lot of things going on this is just kind of crazy because the majority of the things that come out for skincare are completely his which just makes me feel like he's kind of like one of the most influential so influential skincare persons in TikTok Hey, raw fruits and vegetables. If it's not formulated by a cosmetic chemist or a cosmetics lab to go on your face, it probably shouldn't go on your face. That's a good rule of thumb. Okay, Essential hold oil. up right there, mister. Vegetables? Vegetables are more are, are like the most natural thing you could actually place on your face instead of going by something that's chemically made, scientifically proved. It's like, what's good for you? It's for you to consume something that's healthy, that's natural. Like, just a lot of BS to begin with. I've been through a few roller coasters upon skincare. So I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys. 
who do you guys watch on TikTok regarding on skincare? Because we're here to debunk some things and we're here to just talk about it. And obviously that's my personal opinion. At the end of the day, it's his personal opinion. And it's gonna be your personal opinion as well if you're gonna take some of this or not. It's up to you guys. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some sunscreen, which I am using this baby right over here. It is the Unseen Sunscreen. It's SPF 40. Do I love it 100%? Uh, no. Would I recommend it? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad sunscreen, and I'm not going to say that. But, I mean, I don't like the oily feeling to it. At the end of the day, it does kind of go away. I no longer feel it. I do feel like the oily kind of like just... I don't know, it gives you like another layer of hydration at the same time. But it just might be me thinking about that. I swear, it feels like summer's freaking back. It's been hot here in California. I hope you guys are doing an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next one.